Good morning, Jay, sir. I'm Hayden Carter. And I'm J.D. Asidera, and this is The Line Report. So, J.D., I can't believe it's the last day of the quarter already. I know. Senior year has gone by a little too fast. Yeah. Well, let's get this show started by going to Luke with today's announcements. Hey there. Okay, come I'm on. Luke let's Friendly do this Hill. thing. These are the daily announcements. Hey, Edward, what do you got about Sir's Pantry? Hey. That they uh, collect food for uh, for the homeless. Yeah, well, um, we're still collecting food until um, March 17th. Well, and if you have any food, just bring this to me later, okay? I got it. All right, thanks. We're going to go across Hayden Carter. <laughs> Hayden! Yeah. Ah. Oh. Tell me about FLA. What's happening? What's happening? Well, what's happening? Not again. Boy, what's happening with FLA? There, there's a Night of Champions thing this weekend. What is that? Uh, you can go if you're in the FLA club and it's just like some music and like sports and God and stuff. Oh, okay, where is it? Where is it? Where, where is this gonna be? Uh, Irvine Mariner's Church. Okay, what time? And day? Uh, I don't know what time or day. You, that's why you're doing the announcements. He doesn't know his own club. <laughs> Suck. Exposed. <laughs> it's March 10th, 6 to 9.30. Okay, Hayden. One last announcement, seniors. Some of you haven't even logged into X2 Vol yet, and the due date to turn them all your hours in is April 30th. Get those done and they are No. Is that her phone? Oh, exposed, she has a phone. <laughs> so anyways, where was I? Wait, get it done. You're not gonna graduate. Yeah, okay, if you haven't even logged in, you need to do 80 hours, you would... I don't want to do math. Um, math is hard, dude. What? Yeah, yeah, it is. You would have to spend a lot of time, a lot of time doing community service hours, and most of that time you're going to be in school, so you're literally going to just be... Okay, wait, actually... If you spent literally an entire weekend starting from 3 o'clock after school on Friday until 12 o'clock midnight on Sunday, you would still only have 58 hours and you still have to have a bunch more hours to do. What? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> math. Math is scary. All right. <gasps> I'm so sorry, don't excommunicate me. If you're gonna turn your hours or have any questions on it, ask this guy right here, Mr. Brem. Hi, or Mr. Anyone. Brem. Just anyone, anyways. I've been Luke Friend of them. These have been the announcements. Wait. No, no, you're there. right. This has been the announcements. But there was three of them. <gasps> Thanks, Luke. We can always count on you to make announcements a little more fun. So, Hayden, what are three things we need to know this week? Well, I didn't do three things we need to know this week, but Michael's in the studio with some news. So let's go check it out. Thanks guys. Today we have three new stories. WikiLeaks will share apparent leaked CIA hacking tools with tech firms to fix flaws the clandestine agency may be exploiting in smartphones, computers, and televisions. The U.S. has reportedly sent 400 additional troops to Syria to support an allied local force aiming to capture the so-called Islamic State stronghold of Raqqa. Lastly, South African water sport pro Chris Burdish has just nailed a world first. He's crossed the Atlantic solo unassisted and unsupported on simply a stand-up paddleboard. Thanks, Lion Nation. Back to Hayden and JD in the studio. Thanks, Michael. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well on a lighter note, um, I've been meaning to see Logan lately. Um, I went and saw it, and so did Aiden. Let's go check out his movie review. 
So Logan is the third and supposedly final Wolverine film to star Hugh Jackman and follows the ex-X-Man in the distant future where the vast majority of mutant kind has been wiped out. He now lives a depressing and torturous life that includes him taking care of his mentally ill mentor and father figure, Charles Xavier, while also dealing with the progressive loss of his healing ability. So the track record of the Wolverine movies has been a bit of a mixed bag. You have the first Wolverine movie, which is one of the biggest steaming piles of garbage I've ever seen in my entire life. Burn that movie. If you ever see that movie, destroy it I mean, immediately. It's one of the worst things ever. Don't watch it. Oh, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. It's so bad! And then we get to Logan, which is not only the best movie in the Wolverine trilogy, is not only possibly the best movie in the X-Men franchise, but could very well be one of the best superhero films ever made. But don't take it from me. Take it from Spencer Bronco. What'd you think of it, Spencer? Finally woke. Okay. What? There are so many things to love about this movie, but I think one of the biggest things is the maturity. Now I know some of the moms out there are probably thinking, oh, a new X-Men movie. The action in this movie is also great. It's great to see Wolverine go into this berserk mode without being restricted by that PG-13 rating. The action in this movie is beautifully brutal. And when he freaks out and goes ham on people in this movie, it kind of reminds me of Omi- And I would not recommend any parent to take their kids to go see this movie. I loved it! It's beautiful. This is exactly how a Wolverine movie should be. I mean, it's about a guy with knives in his hands. It's, it's not exactly Disney material. Let's start with the title character, Logan, otherwise known as Wolverine. He is so refreshingly different than any version of him we've seen before in any of the other X-Men movies, but at the same time, he seems so tragically familiar. That's another thing this movie does extremely well. It takes characters that we have known and loved since the first X-Men movie back in 2000, which was 17 years ago. I, I think Logan is Dark Knight levels of good. I think it is the best movie I've seen so far this year. And that's really saying something because we have gotten some good movies this year. Logan was a bit of a gamble, but it absolutely paid off. I loved it. And yeah, that's all I got. I made it and I like movies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some copies of X-Men Origins Wolverine to shred. That movie sucks! Thanks, Aiden. Well, I heard boys tennis is off to a good start in their season. So far, they're undefeated. So good job, boys. Keep up the good work. Yeah, well, I like to see how strong our uh, sport, spring sports are going. Yeah, and a few winter sports are still competing, and our ice hockey team won last night, and are moving on. Also, girls' soccer is still in state regionals and going strong. They won 5-1 to one yesterday and are playing this Saturday at home at 4. You all better come out and support. Yeah, and it's their last game, and after, you are, you are all invited to Ruby's in San Juan. Let's go see some highlights of yesterday's game. Good job, girls, and good luck tomorrow. Well, that's all we have for you today's show. I'm Hayden Carter. And I'm J.D. Osidera. And this has been The Line Report. Thanks for watching, J. Sarah.